All right, so in the browsers, there are features that are not turned on yet. So every time you update your browser, you're getting the latest functionality. But there are some features that aren't quite ready for prime time. So they're available in the browser, but they're things that you have to turn on. Um, you'll find quite a few of the CSS4 features fall into this category. There's new JavaScript things that fall into this category. And if you want to enable them, I'm going to show you how. So in Firefox, we'd use about colon config. That is the URL that you would type in. In Chrome, you'd say chrome colon slash slash about. So you can start like this. This gives you a list of all the possible Chrome URLs that you can use. Inside of here, there's like extensions. So if I go into extensions, this is all the things that you've downloaded. Uh, you can download extensions. I don't have any here. This is kind of an experimental copy of Chrome. This isn't my main copy, so I don't have any extensions here yet. Uh, flags. That's another one. So here's the experimental features. This is flags. In Firefox, about config gives you access to all these things. So it's all in one category. And you can scroll through here and anything that you want to change. So app update auto. So the default right now is true, and I can double click on this to change it back and forth. Over in Chrome, I want to look for things. Uh, so let's look for experimental. Experimental. There we go. So here's one. Experimental extensions uh, API. So this allows you to add experimental uh, extensions. So if you're bringing in uh, extensions to Chrome and they're using experimental features, there may be something that's uh, disabled by default. You won't be able to install it. But if I come in here and I say, yeah, go for it, not a problem. I'm going to allow this browser to use those experimental uh, features in the extensions that I'm installing. So you can search for experimental JavaScript. Oh yeah, great, I want to have that as well. So I'm turning these things on and off once you've made the changes you want, you relaunch it, and these are saved in a settings file. So when Chrome relaunches, then you have those features added. Um, same thing with Firefox. You can come through and change these settings. They get saved in a settings file so that when you launch Firefox, you have all of these new settings. And that's about it. So for Chrome, it's Chrome colon slash slash, and then start with about or flags go from there. And in Firefox, about colon config. Those are the two URLs, and I'll write them both in the uh, description for the video so you have them. All right. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.